Some time back, I made a video titled Why You Should Not Learn Machine Learning. If you guys haven't watched it, check it out right over here. And I got a ton of comments on that video from people who were wondering uh, why they should not learn machine learning and also from people who are in the process of learning it So I decided, you know, why not take some time and address some of these comments The first comment I want to look at is by quiet storm he says, I think it's important to get down to precisely how we can overcome the barriers of entry Example, if you are a hiring manager, what precise skill set would you require me to have? And which work ready approval projects could I do? Okay, so let's answer the first question. If I was a hiring manager, what precise skill sets would you require as a machine learning engineer, perhaps? So definitely one of the biggest things that hiring managers in machine learning look for is some experience with TensorFlow or PyTorch or one of these uh, big machine learning or deep learning frameworks. So that's a big plus. Maybe some experience with Python because that's what a lot of machine learning companies are using or even are if that's what the company is using. And next up, which work ready provable, provable projects could I do? So this is one of my favorite books when it comes to uh, deep learning and also machine learning. There's a ton of projects in this book and I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. So one of the most common projects that a lot of beginners do is probably weather forecast. Time series weather forecasting using deep learning. Now the same uh, deep learning algorithm that you use on this time uh, on this weather forecast data you could easily use them on other types of data for example uh, stock prices or anything which is a time series data so you can use that in many different examples and you can create many different side projects according to what you are interested in or the type of industry that you're interested in so definitely look into that the next comment is by Mizuhashi Sunoko who says that was really informative. I'm a recent graduate who sought machine learning because I wanted to work with robots in the future. Now I need to look up exactly what to do about it because I thought having a machine learning major degree would be sufficient for getting to that goal. Well, thank you for your comment Mizuhashi and I'm really glad that you found the information informative. And uh, from what you've said, you probably seem to have a CS degree, but you have majored in machine learning. And it's great that you already know exactly what you want to do with machine learning. You want to work with robots, so that's really great. Um, I think the next step for you, since you've already graduated, is probably to get some uh, robotics-related side projects into your portfolio. One really great example that I can think of right off the bat is something called the AWS Deep Racer. I'm sure that many of you have probably not heard about it, uh, but it's essentially a small race car which comes with LiDAR detection and cameras, so it's able to see where it's going. So you can essentially program it using deep learning and reinforcement learning to control the way it moves and things like that. So you can buy it but there's also a virtual one where you can do the same exact you can create models and program it and there's obstacles and there's virtual racetracks so yeah it's a great project if you guys want to get into robotics and reinforcement learning we've got another comment from soap maktavish who says i'm an engineering graduate from india in electronics is it feasible for me to start my career as a data scientist and I've done some online courses on it. Thank you for your comment. And you know what? It is definitely feasible. Like literally anything is feasible if you are willing to put time and effort and hours into it. So yeah, um, so you are an engineering degree graduate. That means you probably have, uh, you have, you probably have some kind of engineering math in your degree as well. So probability, statistics, perhaps that's already in there. So I think that's you have some sort of base for wanting to be a data scientist already. And if you have done some online courses, maybe you have some experience with uh, SQL and Python as well. So definitely go for it. Um, gain some experience, uh, get some side projects in, start applying. There is no reason why you should 
not be going for it. Next up, we have a comment from Michael who says, please, what did you learn in college? This is because I think machine learning is only a branch or part of data science, which is a field dominated by people who studied math, computer science, statistics, engineering, etc. Okay, thank you for your comment, Michael. Uh, so I majored in computer science engineering and to a certain extent, you're right. Okay, machine learning, yeah, you see a lot of people who have very traditional CS degrees in machine learning. But at the same time, I feel like that is something which is changing as more and more people understand what it actually is and see new roles and the amount of roles which are coming up in the job, uh, job field, you're going to see a lot of people from many different backgrounds applying as well. But you do see a lot of business analysts who are interested in changing into machine learning. To think that uh, machine learning is fully dominated by people who know math, statistics, engineering, it's not exactly true. That's something which is changing daily. So if you are not someone who has an engineering degree or a CS degree or a stats degree, you know, I don't think you should be discouraged. Definitely, if you have the passion for it and if you're willing to put the time and effort it takes to learn something new, this is definitely something that you guys should look into. Next up, we have another comment. He says, um, I deeply agree with the sentiment. There is a lot of hype about ML. It's also hard, annoying, painful, badly told, badly resourced, and overall yucky. A lot of problems can't be solved with basic analytics. Start with that, it's more fun. 90% uh, of ML work is data sourcing and crunching, not ML. It's going to take you five years to be effective as an ML engineer. It's going to take you nine months to make a difference as a data analyst. So I totally understand what he's talking about. Uh, within machine learning, there is a lot of self-learning that you're probably going to have to do. There's a lot of figuring things out by yourself uh, that you, if you were taking something else, if you were learning maybe like computer science or software engineering, there's a lot of already problem solved online. You know, there's a lot of resources online for these things because it's been around for a much longer time. So eventually machine learning is going to get there. But at this stage, uh, we definitely don't have the level of amazing resources that something like maybe software engineering has. But that's that's going to change in the future. So definitely, you know, if you're interested in machine learning, you should stick with it. Okay, guys, and the last comment is by Pranav Gandhi, who says, I appreciate your honest opinions. You just gained a new subscriber, by the way. Thank you. But I want to ask you, is mach um, does machine learning have the potential to change the world? Really cheesy answer that I'm going to give. I really think it does. Um, I think it's going to change the way we live in things that in, in ways that we don't even expect in the future, especially. So guys, hope this video helped you understand if machine learning is the right track for you or not. Uh, and thank you guys for all the comments that you left on that video. And I look forward to reading more of those kind of comments in this video as well. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.